When you hear the name Rockstar Games, you probably think of their spotless track record with bangers like Red Dead Redemption and GTA. However, it is indeed Rockstar Games that disgraced the gaming world with one of the worst creations known to man. A game so terrible it caused the entire Rockstar launcher to go offline. So terrible it had to be temporarily pulled from the PlayStation Store. Today, we're going to take a look at Grand Theft Auto The Definitive Edition, figure out what went wrong, and see if the game is still terrible to to this day. All this gameplay was streamed live by the way. Feel free to drop by to put some extra muscles on your biceps. Grand Theft Auto The Definitive Edition was a modernized bundle that included remasters for GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. The Definitive Edition began development in 2019 by Wardrum Studios, also known as Grove Street Games. Grove Street had a history with developing ports for Rockstar. Believe it or not, they were the ones that helped to bring San Andreas to other platforms and Chinatown Wars, Vice City, and GTA 3 to mobile. So it's pretty clear to see why Rockstar chose them to develop this remaster. Though remaster would be a bit of an overstatement to say the least. Grove Street didn't see the need to recreate these games from scratch or to go back and improve them in any way. All they assumed the players wanted and they wanted was to make these old games feel modern. Which is why they basically took Vice City, San Andreas, and GTA 3 and just pasted it into Unreal Engine 4. I mean if gamers wanted to play the exact same game they would have just gone back and played the original versions but that's just me. Either way most of the code wasn't necessarily 100% portable, forcing them to go back and rebuild some aspects of the game from scratch. I can't say which aspect specifically, but I can surely take a guess. Jesus, look at the way he drives. He has no idea what stability is. Apparently, I am strong enough to just move this shit with my own fucking body weight. Look at this shit. God damn. Playing the worst game ever. Oh! Oh well. Did that just fall through the floor? <laughs> they just fall through the floor. My running animation is beautiful, my lord. Dude, okay, the driving controls in this game though are awful. I try turning and it barely makes a slight turn and then I get thrown off the road. That was super helpful. Oh my god, why am I running so fast? But worst of all is the AI. Dear lord, it's like everyone in Liberty City either wanted to fuck shit up or off themselves as soon as possible. These graphics are crazy, I mean look at this. She jumped into my car. On your radar, but how am I supposed to get? <gasps> they just jumped into my car. Now I got a wanted level. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, and the cops are killing people too. My lord. The Garfield. The thing about the Garfield movie is that. Oh my. Oh my fucking. <laughs> Let me see if I can just drive him to the river. <laughs> this game is better than GTA 6. Why is the car? Why is the car falling apart? What are they doing? Wait, what happened? Are they giving a sermon? Did they just like not give a shit that there's a dead body right under them? Who killed that? Oh, that guy killed himself, but I killed the last guy. Okay, bomb is armed. Oh, do they want me to like blow myself up? Oh my! That last clip played no significance, I just thought it was funny. Regardless, although the code was now there, the game still needed a bit of polish. So it was time for a graphics overhaul. Their initial plan was to import the majority of buildings while only rebuilding the most important places such as the protagonist's home. However, during testing, they noticed that it would lead to major graphical inconsistencies within the world. Which is why they instead opted into using AI to upscale all the old textures. This way they can quickly copy and paste some shit while tweaking certain portions that needed it. Although there were a couple of things that still needed to be rebuilt from scratch, this method allowed for the world to turn out as aesthetically pleasing as it did. Though they still seem to have missed a couple of corrections that AI couldn't catch, such as meat being replaced with heat in this sign. Aside from the environment however, they still had to upgrade the characters. According to producer Rich Rosado, this is what they feared the most. They believed that players already created a mental image of what these original characters looked like. For that reason, they didn't want to add so much detail that could ruin that already created image, but they also didn't want the characters to be left built like chicken nuggets. The solution? Improve them without upgrading them. Basically, make the polygons buttery smooth, add some textures here and there, and with a little bit of polish, voila. <laughs> what didn't really help though was that Rockstar supposedly didn't have many archives for these original characters since they never expected to revisit these games at any point in time, which is why we were left with some of the most horrific character models to ever exist in a video game. Let's go home. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he looks like he's just permanently high. The shark from Shark Tale. Is that goatee painted on too? My god. <laughs> Big Smoke's face. No movement other than his mouth. His shirt looks so rubbery. It hurts. Do you know if you just like... Oh, what the hell? Look at these guys' beefy ass bodies. Oh my god. Are the models still broken when you're on a bike? The model itself looks beautiful, as you can see. Oh my god, Big Beard. Oh, look at his neck. Ugh. Look at the hair on his chest. It looks like a tattoo. <laughs> oh my god. His nipples are in the shape of a heart. Damn, look at him. My god, these fucking graphics. Do you notice how their hands don't open? They stay like this. Like little Lego figures. They're just... Nice. <laughs> the sound of the phone smashing came after it already was in the air. Anyways, after about two years of development, the game finally just released in November of 2021. However, just before release, the game was immediately pulled from the PlayStation Store. Apparently, they accidentally allowed players in Australia and New Zealand to access the game much sooner than anticipated. I'm not sure how this happened, but the only possible solution they found was just to remove the game, and it doesn't end there. Upon release, the entire Rockstar launcher was forced to go offline for maintenance so they say that maintenance was soon revealed to have been rockstar going into the game's files to remove unlicensed songs developer notes and certain non-family friendly portions that were unintentionally left within i don't know why they didn't bother checking that kind of stuff leading up to the release but hey sucks to suck i guess the definitive edition would also release on mobile later down the line either being free to play with a netflix subscription or costing 20 whole dollars only for san andreas for some reason you can't buy the standalone definitive gta 3 or vice city unless it just isn't showing up on my app store anyways those of you familiar with the game may already know what the original release version was like png rain dog gif horrible bugs and even the ability to soft lock your entire copy what's crazy to me is how easy some of these bugs could have been to just fix but they weren't if the removing of files after release tells you anything it's that these guys really gave only a couple of fucks for this whole thing to them the final product it didn't really matter. People were going to buy it regardless. And oh boy, did they buy them. With sales estimated at over 10 million, possibly even 20 million by this point. As I've shown throughout the video, the game itself is still quite goofy and it can get quite boring at times, but that doesn't mean it isn't still playable now. I myself haven't run into any game breaking bugs, just slightly annoying AI. Though, take that with a grain of salt, I only played about an hour of each of these games on stream. For all I know, the game will break down at some point later on. However, if you do buy the game from the Rockstar launcher, you also receive the original trilogy alongside their ports. Which is pretty cool, I mean, if you don't want to deal with this garbage ass version, you can go back and play the originals. I'm not sure if other platforms or Steam may also offer this, I just know it's on the Rockstar launcher. I might revisit these games someday since I've never actually got to play them before and I don't think I'm getting a refund anytime soon. Though I'm for sure playing the originals, I am definitely not playing the definitive again. If you like this video, feel free to check out my other videos or come into the streams whatever you want really thank you to every pookie club member i love every single one of you that's all for me and ciao ciao